Of truth. I want to get uh, through to some stuff, uh, guys, uh, with regards to talking about some topics that may leave you um, baffled. You know, in school, they, uh, schools right now, they're, they're, they're doing topics and subjects around, quote unquote, tolerance. And uh, around tolerance, they've got to teach you about things like race and s race and things of that such. But, you know, race is actually not a real thing. You guys hope you understand that race is not a real thing. Race was actually invented. It was made up. The whole idea of race is a, it's a it's a construct that's made to wrongly divide and categorize people so that some people can get at the advantage or preference over another person. It's like it's a way of basically saying certain people are better than other people based on quote unquote their genealogical background. It's essentially what race race does. People can try to make it seem like it's way more complicated. You know, no, it's food, it's clothing, it's this, it's that, and all that kind of stuff. But essentially, you can take a child that's born of parents in China, and if that kid was to get adopted by parents in Africa or parents in America, that child would speak the language, eat the food, listen to the music, all this kind of stuff that those people, that their parents um, uh, listened to and, and fed them. So, you know, people can make all kinds of excuses. Um, but, you know, race is, race is fictitious. Essentially, you should just call it, call it uh, they try to make something that's simple and, and not scientific, scientific. And they try to make it complicated by saying, well, we can go into the DNA level. And that's what you call eugenics. And now uh, these uh, devils have just gotten better at trying to hide their racism. And they're trying to say, well, at the DNA level, uh, that proves we're the people of God and all this kind of stuff. Uh, race, race is fake, guys. Now, um, with regards to the Holocaust, I want to. There's a couple of things. There's a young man who asked a question, and I want to uh, try to adjust that question from a biblical standpoint because people ask a question that a lot of it seems like it baffles so many theologians. And I'm like, wow, you guys, you know, you have the answer right there in the scriptures. People are saying, well, what was behind the Holocaust? Why did it happen? And all this kind of stuff. And the scriptures tell you exactly why men kill other men. The scriptures tell you exactly why these things happen. And so, you know, the, the excuse that people use and, you know, beating around the bush and pretending they don't know um, is ridiculous, right? It, it, it's ridiculous why people do this. Now, we want to go to the scriptures because we want to go and uh, we want to actually read the scriptures and we want to get our scriptures from the we want to get our answers from the scriptures right um i'm gonna go ahead and let's 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 go to the scriptures first i'm gonna i'm gonna answer the question about the holocaust let's answer the scriptures let's do this first we're gonna to go to james four and three okay it talks about why people war right why do people war from whence come wars and fightings among you. Come they not hence, even of your lust that war in your members? Right? Remember how it says, in your flesh dwelleth no good thing, and they that are in the flesh can't please God. And it says, love not the world, nor the things in the world. If it says, love not the world, nor the things in the world, and Jesus says, my kingdom is not of this world, if my kingdom were of this world, then will my servants fight, and so Jesus is saying, I'm not fighting for the treasures of this world. Store not for yourselves treasures on earth where thieves break in and moth the corrupt. Store for yourself treasures in heaven. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. Then it says of men, there's none righteous, no, not one. So you have to be born again. Abraham believed God. The gospel preached before to Abraham and it was counted to him for righteousness. Abraham was born again of the incorruptible seed, a new creature created in Christ, found in God, not in the flesh, but in the spirit. The spirit is life because of righteousness, having not his own righteousness. As Jesus told Nicodemus, you must be born again. And when you're born again, you're born again into where? Into Jerusalem above as free as mother of us all. So that's why people war. For anyone to sit here and pretend, you know, I just don't know. I don't understand. Why did the Holocaust happen? All the, the only reason why they're telling you that is because they're trying to make it seem like, well, huh? Why we don't know? It's, it's someone either that's someone who's a fool, who doesn't understand or believe the the, the scriptures, 
and and they just trying to they're trying to hide why the war happened for nefarious purposes because they should say well, why do all these wars happen why do people colonize africa why do people have this war why do people enslave other people we know why people do this because they're greedy because men are greedy men are sinners and men are greedy Men want and they covet other people's stuff and they murder and spill blood to get it. And then they turn around and try to say, God justified me in my theft. That's why it happened. That's why it happened in the Holocaust. It's no, there's no difference. There's no difference. Just because you're trying to deify and try to make it seem like, well, oh my goodness, that was some war that was, you know, that, that was the most atrocious sin that men ever created. That's people lying. That's people trying to make merchandise. So we're going to go to the scriptures. And if anybody ever asks you, why did the Holocaust happen? You can tell them the truth. You don't have to sit here and lie to people. Okay. James 4.1. From whence come wars and fighting among you? Come they not hence even of your lust that war in your members ye lust and have not see you love ye kill and desire to have why are you trying to kill us why are you coming here to this land what's your excuse god told me to come and kill y'all why because y'all is heathens y'all is pagans y'all is savages y'all is beasts Right? That's why we coming to kill you. We're going to kill everybody. Man, woman, and child. We gonna, that's why we came to kill. To plunder. Right? Ye lust and have not. Ye kill and desire to have and cannot obtain. Ye fight in war. Ye have not because ye ask not. Right? It talks about seek ye first the kingdom of God. Right. Right. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Right. It says store not for yourself treasures on earth. Right. These are things that the scriptures tell you, but it says flesh and blood cannot inherit nor enter the kingdom of God. And so men. They say, I want the kingdom. What? I want the kingdom now. This is what they're saying. I want the kingdom now. Now, and this is why Jesus said, my kingdom is not in this world, because Jesus said, I know you're thieves and robbers. I know you're murderers and whoremongers. I know you hate your brother. I know you children of the flesh hate each other. I know that your house is divided. I know how you guys come. You think you think God is tricked and God is just because you're foolish. God is not tricked, guys. Right. Ye ask and receive not because ye ask amiss that ye may consume it upon your lust. Right? It talks about the lust of the eyes, the pride of what? The pride of life. He says, ye adulterers and adulteresses, adulteresses. He's saying, you guys, you know why you guys betray one another? You know why you guys aren't faithful? You know why you guys make laws and you're never faithful to the laws? You know why you guys swear allegiance and then sell each other out? You say, I pledge allegiance to the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. One nation. And then you sell each other out. You go and export your jobs. You sell people out. You bring in other people from other borders to undermine the, those, your, your other brothers to steal their job. Because you're looking for what? You're looking for cheaper labor. You know why you guys scheme and scam and try to poison your fellow citizens? Because you don't want to give them the entitlement. You're like, well, now that you're done working for me and I got the best out of you, I don't think you should live that long. I don't really want to pay you to do sit around and do nothing. Right? Isn't that why you do it? Isn't that why you do it? Even in your own household. Right? Oh, I'm distant and pointed and you didn't get enough riches. You, you ain't living up to my expectations. That's why you're not faithful, guys. And if you judge your stuff by the standard of the law, love your neighbor as you love yourself, you know, love God, love your neighbor as you love yourself, Who's kept it? None. So are you faithful? 
Of course not. And that's why it says by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified in the sight. And that's why it says there in the flesh can't please God. For anyone to sit here and pretend, I don't know. I don't, you know, I don't know why the Holocaust. And why are you just asking about the Holocaust? I know why people are asking specifically about that war. Let's think about it. You could say, you know, why did the transatlantic slave trade happen? I don't know. I don't give a damn. Be honest with you. This is what you're saying. Um, you know, why the slaughtering of the Native Americans? Who who, 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 who cares, man? Dude, come on. Stop. Dude, come on, man. You're bringing us down. Could you tell me whether the Chinese, Japanese, what, who, who what, the Bosnian, the Rwandan, Congo, uh, Europe. Uh, tell me why this war happened, that war happened. This, many other wars happened in Europe. But what do people want to know? What's the war they want to know about? What's the war that's baffling everybody? What's the war that we can never forget? What's the one war we can never forget, guys? You can't forget this one war. You a Negro, you know, you have no idea about, well, what, what, what wars did the Africans fight to try to keep their freedom? Negro, is that important? You can, you can be ignorant about every other war in the world. There is one war. If you if you forget, you just look down at your paycheck and they're like, that's OK. We're going to take some money out your paycheck to come help fight for the chosen people. So why do people care about why is this war significant? Because this is the war that they're going to teach you, not just in so, so in so-called ch church. They're going to teach you this war in quote unquote. When I say church, I laugh. I'm not quote unquote church. They're going to teach you this one in school. They're going to teach you this one in documentaries. They're going to make movies about this one. You're going to hear have politicians talking about it. They're going to be talking about it like it happened yesterday. And it's the most important war for some reason. Because they're a respected person. You can you can you say, well, how many how many children were murdered? And aborted and killed in the womb. I, I really, I don't know, man. I, I, I don't know. Let, let's just tell me, just, I'm just asking how many between this, 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 between, I don't know, for the last 10 years, how many, I, I mean, I, all over the world, how many, how many kids have been murdered, you know, murdered, killed in a womb, just, just children, tell me, starved to death, murdered in a womb, whatever, just tell me. I, I don't know. You don't know, you don't have a number, you don't care. You're not trying to track it. There's no great campaign to stop it. But there is there's one thing that people are trying to do. One thing that they say you must never forget that you must always remember. And you got to ask yourself, why? Why is that? Why is that? And then when they ask these so-called religious leaders these questions, these religious leaders never have the answer. And people, you, you don't think that's a little suspicious? None of them have the answer. And if they try to go to the scriptures, many of them are they're, they're, they're sneaky enough to not go to the scriptures because if they go to the scriptures, we who are the people of God, the true circumcision, which worship God in the spirit and rejoice in Christ and have no confidence in the flesh, we don't lust after the things in the world. We're not carnal. We're not looking to say, Lord, give me more riches in this world because all of us who've been born again our kingdom is not of this world. This is why they got a gatekeep. Who gets to say what and when? This is why if you answer the question correctly and you say, well, what, why, why did the Holocaust happen? I say, I'll, I'll tell you exactly. I said, because men lust and men are greedy and men are lust and greedy sinners who kill and murder people for their stuff. It's simple as that. And you say, well, why did they kill those people who they claim to be Jews? I say they killed them because they lust. It's the same answer. But then you say, well, were those God's quote unquote chosen people, the apple of his eye? I would say apples. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. They weren't the apple of his eye. No more than any child of the flesh is the apple of God's eye. No child of the flesh is the apple of God's eye because God says his sheep never perish. And but yet you got scholars sitting here 
playing stupid. Now you got to ask yourself why? Why is the world so confounded? Okay? Ye adulterers and adulterers, know ye not that friendship of the world is enmity with God. Whosoever therefore shall be friends of the world is the enemy of God. And you guys are sitting here talking about some, you know, Marcus, you know, God gave them a land grant. So for them, it's okay for them to seek ye first uh, the kingdom of the kingdom in this world and try to seek it by keeping the law and declaring that they are righteous by keeping the law and the thinking that they're just by the law, even though it says by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified in the sight. They can not only love the world and the things in the world, but they can say, hey, I'm going to fight for the kingdom of this world. And I just need a little help from y'all. Give me some of your tax dollars and let's lobby to you got to ask yourself, who is behind this? Who is lying to all these people who are lying to these people and telling them that they're the people of God, the apple of his eye? Who is lying to these people? What's behind this? Because someone is lying to these people. And then the next question you got to ask is, why do they want to believe these lies so much? When someone gives you a stupid answer and it makes no sense, why do you believe it? Okay. All this stuff, guys, ties in. It ties into what it says. He's talking about people warring. And it's clearly saying, you know, why do you guys fight? From Listen, from whence come wars and fighting among you? Who? You, children of the flesh. Come they not henceforth even of your lust that war in your members? He's talking about the members upon the earth. He's talking about the children of the flesh. He says, ye lust and have not, ye kill, and desire to have, and cannot obtain, ye fight and war, yet ye have not, because ye ask not. Ye ask and receive not, because ye ask amiss. Why are you asking for these things? For my own gain, for my own glory. That ye may consume it upon your lust. Why are you going over to so-called that lying sided wonder called Israel in the Middle East? Because some man told me I could. Why? What's the justification? Because he said that we're the people of God, the apple of his eye. Um, do you even do you believe the gospel or anything? Do you do you, do you believe that? Just just a general question. Do you even believe the gospel? Uh, hell no, nah, I don't believe that that mess. So why are you going? Why are you going? Because I can go over there and get what? What are you they gonna give you when you get? Well, they say I can go over there and live over there and get a home. Oh, so you're going over there to be a place filler because they need people as they steal land. They need you to quote unquote hold the space, hold the spot. Hey, we're stealing these people's land. Hey, can you come over and hold a spot? There's a there's a home in it for you. We hey we'll 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 make you a first class citizen. All you got to do is be complicit in our crime. Sounds good to me. He asks, you receive not. Then it says, ye adulterers and adulteresses. He says, you don't keep my law faithfully. You, you don't. He said, that's why there's not a just man upon the earth to do it. You guys don't keep my law. You're not faithful to the law. And according to the law of Moses, if you were married to the law, you should be stoned because you've already all of you have committed adultery. You love the world and the things in the world. You guys are fighting over the same quote unquote woman. The earth. Love not the world. You love the world. You, you all love the same woman. You're all fighting for the same woman. He tells you, know ye not that friendship of the world for some of you guys you can be like that is odd. that is an odd transition he's talking about people's is why do they war and then he's talking about some calling them adulteresses and then he's talking about some love not the world that's an odd transition that's because your pastors they lie to you your so-called religious leaders are dumb idols and they lie to you yes those people believe it or not the people who collect your money they war against you. They're actually your enemies. Right? They don't really love you because if they loved you, they wouldn't be lying to you. And guess what? All men are liars. All men are liars. 
Now the question you have, are they lying to me because they're ignorant or is it willful ignorance? Because if they, there's no question they're ignorant because they won't tell you the truth about why the Holocaust happened. They won't tell you the truth on that. They won't tell you the truth that God is the spirit and they that worship him must worship him in truth and that they that in the flesh can't please God. If they tell you the truth about they that in the flesh can't please God, then maybe you're going to get upset and say, well, if they in the flesh can't please God, I guess I don't need to come here and give you the works of my flesh, huh? I guess I don't need to pay you no more money than I do. I. Ooh, that would, you know, that would, that, 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 that prick them. They'd be pricked to the heart. They'd be like, oh, now you hit me where it hurts, sister. Oh, you ain't got, you. I heard you just got a promotion. I heard you was, now you was VP. And that big old corporation, please come, come on now. That'll cut them to the heart, boy. They be like, oh, I'm not, you done cut me. They see that, they see they pass that plate around. You've been, you've been giving your money, the works of your flesh, the filthy rags of your flesh. They've been making merchandise out of you and you decide you don't want to go. You walk up and you say, I'm going across the street. Boy, that, that cut them, that cut them pastors to the heart. They be like, oh my goodness, I was extorting them for filthy lucre's sake. I was lying to them. Trying to get as much money out of them as I could. I told them they had to pay 10, 20, 30 percent of their earnest giving first fruits to the Lord Jesus. Then they didn't find out I'm a liar. That didn't cut me to the heart. They ain't gonna give me the money. Listen to this, guys. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy. Of God. Uh, you, what do you think that when Jesus said, My kingdom is not of this world, what do you think he meant? Your little pastor, your little line sign, and one of the pastors say, oh, That just meant his kingdom wasn't in, of this world. He didn't really mean, he just meant it wasn't of this dispensation or this system of things. So, what is he, when he says, They that are in the flesh can't please God, what does that mean? Uh, that don't mean what it says either, because if that was true, he wouldn't have a chosen people, the apple of his eye, in the flesh. Right. I, 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 you know what? I guess if that's the case, I guess we need to this, this, you know, <laughs> what, what do you think he meant when he said the children of the flesh? These are not the children of God. What do you think he meant by that? Um, you can just you can just get you can just be like, oh, Pastor, what do you think when it says that right here? Pastor, I'll just get a quick question for you. It said they that in the flesh can't please God. What do you think that means? I don't know. Well, let's go over the next chapter, Pastor. We can go right down here to Romans 9 8. What do you think it says? It says they which are children of the flesh, these are not children of God. What do you think that means? Well, I, I you know, I you know, I, I don't I don't know what that means either. Pastor, well, okay, well, Pastor, since you know you you learned it, man, you done went there, you you supposed to be leading us now. So what what do you think it means when God said God that made the world and said, Love not the world nor the things therein? Listen, love not the world nor the things in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not. Seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, dwelleth not. Pastor, I mean, he dwelleth not in temples made with hand. Pastor, who who made the hell building? Uh, uh, now, sister, uh, we had a building fund. And I really appreciate that you was giving. Now, you was giving faithful. But now you're stepping out of your place. Who are you, sister, to question the man of God? Now, but your pastor, you, you, you collected the money. That's the works of my flesh. To do a building fund. And then man, the man made a pastor. I was online. You were showing us the progress reports. I I I clicked on the link, and you you and, and you said, look, I'm gonna show y'all where y'all money went. And I saw you building. The, it was the building fund, but I saw there was. I looked on the construction site, and I saw men's hands building it, pastor. And it says here, it said, dwelling not in temples made with hand. And pastor, you said. When you had the inaugural opening ceremony at the new church made with man's hands, you said, come on to worship service. So, Pastor, I've been taking time from a job, working extra overtime so I can contribute to the building fund. So I was coming to the worship service. And then it said, neither is worship with man's hands. And you be always telling it. You said, raise up holy hands unto the Lord. But it said here, neither worship with man's hand. What that pastor? And then it said, look at, pastor, this is the part that really, but this is the part right here that bewildered me. Because you be collecting all that money and you be talking about getting the deacons to come back and count the money in the back. 
and you say, you know, we, we got to give our first fruits. And it says as though he needed anything. And pastor, you, you real slick because I heard you do that sermon. You said, now the Lord don't need your money, but the way you can prove that you don't love money is by giving it for the Lord's work. Pastor, that seemed kind of like blasphemy. And that, I don't, I don't, Pastor, that that'd be blasphemy. Ain't, ain't that blasphemy? Pastor, I'm confused. You said you was collecting money to send in a blue bucket around with a little star on it. Talking about some, this is the money to help, quote unquote, Israel. I was confused by that too, because he said, when you said we, you said we asked who is Israel, and you said, well, those God's chosen people, and you said, well, God chosen people, the world hates them, and he talked about you said they, they said a lot of them died in the Holocaust. Pastor, what Jesus meant when he said, "My sheep never perish." What Jesus? What did he say when he said, "You believe not because you my, you not my sheep." He said, "My sheep." He says, "I give it. I know my sheep. I give it to them eternal life." Pastor. Did you know them people over there? They don't even claim, they don't even pretend to believe in Jesus. They don't even they don't even pretend to believe in Jesus. I mean, at least you, Pastor. I mean, you a false prophet, but at least you pretend. You don't. They don't even pretend. So I'm just wondering why would you, who say you believe in Jesus, be aiding and abetting somebody who rejects Jesus? That don't make any sense, Pastor. Now, you know, I don't know what you think you're doing, and I don't know who you think you are. You can't touch God's anointed. How dare you question the man of God? Who art thou to, to ask the man of God? I answer to no man. I only answer to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Well, pastor, it said here, and have made of one blood all nations of men to dwell on the face of the earth. But he said to dwell on the face of the earth. That takes me back to the other question, pastor. He said, my kingdom is not of this world. The children of the flesh are not the children of God. Love not the world and other things. To dwell on the face of the earth. Well, he says we got to be born again from heaven. So this is the kind of stupidity. Now, we, we talked about the war. The scriptures have told us in James why men war, right? He tells us why people war. Why do you war? God tells us so clearly from whence come wars and fighting among you. Tells you very plain. But I want you to listen. Listen to this. I want you guys to listen. Listen. Answering prayers, directly preventing evil theatric. Yes. Do you mind? Just go to the question. Sorry about that. Um, so throughout the Old Testament, um, there's plenty of examples of grand theatrical examples of God answering prayers, directly preventing evil from befalling his, um, his people, the Israelites. He said God's answering all these prayers? And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Right? Listen. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and ordained you, that ye should go forth and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain. I don't think you understand when he says bring forth fruit and your fruit should remain. You know when Jesus said, my sheep never perish, and they like remain. Your fruit should remain. And he tells Nicodemus, he's like, Nicodemus, you must be born again. Not of flesh, nor blood, nor the will of man, but of God. And he says, my sheep never perish. And then it says the children of the flesh, these are not the children of God. And God takes no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but all men are wicked. And you sitting here like, hmm, how do I answer the question about the Holocaust? Because uh, if I answer this one here, honestly, how am I going to lie to these people and tell them, you know, this is going to expose World War One, 
World War II. Uh, it's going to expose all the wars, all these other wars. It's going to expose the 70 AD lie. It's going to expose that we've been misteaching and lying about the word of God since forever. And so, I mean, not forever, but since, since, since they, from, from, from since we could speak, me, since, since we learned how to lie, they're going to say, we, you know, if I tell these people the truth, if I tell people the truth, think about this lie. They are so, quote unquote, entrenched in this lie that if they tell people the truth, what do you think that means? You know how many people have believed this lie? Think about even those people who are in the so-called Middle East right now. If they told those people that, hey, we've been lying to you. Think about all the people who facilitated, aided and abetted in this murderous rampage and lying under the guise that God has a chosen group of people according to the flesh, much less classifying them as a so-called chosen race. Do you know what that would do? Seriously, do you guys know what that would, do you know how much, do you know how, do you not realize how much money is being spent? Obama, the Obama, the so-called black, first black so-called president, Obama gave what 38 billion for over 10 years to so-called 38 billion. That's gotten this is not talking about the lobbies. Think about that. Obama gave 38 billion. How much do you think they need to give of that 38 billion to buy your so-called politicians? How much of that money does Israel lobby need to give back to get somebody in the office who's going to vote pro any policy that goes against that lying sign and wonder over there in the desert? You, you, if you want to talk about, if you're like, what's the incentive? You know how people say, follow the money, follow the money. Cause this guy said, well, you know, in the old Testament, but it says, he says, I've chosen you and ordained you that you should go. There's people right now saying they've taken a DNA test and they say, you know, through the DNA test, I found that we have the Cohen the high priestly line DNA. <laughs> really? Take a sample of my blood, brother. You'll see I'm got the high priest. Well, that's really funny because it says born not of flesh, nor blood, nor the will of man, but of God. And it says born of the spirit. And not of this world, not of corruptible seed. You must be born again of incorruptible seed that liveth and abideth and that your fruit should remain forever. I give it to them eternal life. They shall never perish. And you sitting here talking about some, my head hurt. You let these people use virtue signaling and suppose and guilt and so many forms of manipulation to say, well, you know, when this happens to people, it's because the world killed God's chosen people. Don't you guys know? Don't you understand? You say, why did this happen? Let me see if I can help. help. Let's see if we can find this, y'all. Because many of you are going to be like, why did this happen? I don't understand. Why in the world? Man. Why did this happen? Listen. Listen to this. They've discovered that the Jews all along were correct and they can't understand Jewish suffering. And they identify Jewish suffering with two issues. Number one, mm -hmm. we suffered as a result of the way the Germans behaved. As an now, this guy's going to ask a question. Let me, let me go back. Let me go back. Let's go back, guys. Let's let this guy get this question out. And um, I kind of like, um, I know it's played out, but I look at the Holocaust and I wonder, that would have been the perfect time. He could have sent like a couple angels, mm. um, wipe out the, the Nazi armies. Photo, there's photographs. We Remember Jesus said, I could have sent a whole, he said, he said I can get a whole, I can, if I wanted to, I can call angels. But he said, my kingdom is not of this world. It's like, why are you calling angels? Why are you talking about calling angels, Jesus? What's this with calling angels? What, what, what's this with calling? Look, Jesus said, listen. He says something about Father. Let me see him. Yeah. Thinkest thou that I cannot pray to my father and he shall presently give me more than 12 legions. Listen, 12, 
12. What's about that number 12? 12 legion of angels. Listen to this. Listen to this. Listen. Listen, listen, listen to this, guys. Listen. And behold, one of them was with Jesus, stretched out his hand and drew his sword and struck a servant of the high priest and smote off his ear. Smote off the man's ear with a literal sword. And remember when he said our weapons are carnal? You guys remember this? Is that somewhere? I think somewhere in the scriptures he says something. Something about. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God. Listen, through God to the pulling down of strongholds. And this is this man said, well, I'm going to strike off his ear. He's like, no, nah, this is carnal war. This is so-called physical war. I thought it said we wrestle not with flesh and blood, right? But it says, then said Jesus unto him, put up again thy sword into his place. For all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. That's so funny because over in so-called that place dog called Israel, they're taking up the sword. You can replace sword with bomb you can say laser beam you can say a uh, hacksaw machete rocks to stone you can whatever you want to say he's saying you bring forth death you gonna die was oh, america got a great military fund y'all then he says Thinkest thou that I cannot, you know, so funny thing, like Jesus, you know, Jesus, why don't you collect some money? Jesus, I know, cause my, Jesus, don't you know what you can do, Jesus? You know what? We're going to go to, we're going to go to people and we're going to tell them to raise the tithes and offerings, Lord Jesus. We're going to get bigger envelopes. Lord, I got it all planned out. Tell me more about it, Judas. Well, we're going to raise the envelopes and we're going to collect more money, Lord. And then when we get that money and we collect them funds, Lord Jesus, we're going to put the star David on it. And we're going to say, Jesus sent us here to collect this money. And we're going to go back and we say it's going to be pressed down and, and shaken up and all kinds of stuff. And just, Lord, we know you're going to open up a window of blessings and be so much we can't even receive it, Lord Jesus. Jesus, do you mind if we do that, Lord? Collect more tithes and offerings from the works of the flesh so we can so we can fight for the kingdom of this world, Lord Jesus. I cannot pray for my father, and he shall presently give me more than 12 legions of angels. Right? But how then shall the scriptures be fulfilled that thus it must be? It must be. What do you mean? It, what, what must be? Well, I came to die. Right? I'm not trying to glory in the flesh. Jesus would be like, you know what? I'm going I'm to, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going I'm to glorify Mary's flesh. I'm, I'm going to glory in the flesh of Mary. This is perishable flesh. You, just in case you don't know, I came to die. Made of a woman, made to be sin. I came to die. God can't die. Don't be looking at the flesh. God is a spirit. I'm just coming fashioned as a man. Wink, wink. God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. I'm just coming in their likeness of these devils. They think they doing something. They ain't doing nothing. You can do nothing against the truth. Only for it. If y'all destroy your own kingdom, all men are liars. You didn't hurt the kingdom of God. You can't even enter it. You don't even know how to get to it. No, Lord Jesus, don't talk that way now. Lord Jesus, your kingdom in the Middle East now. And you talking crazy now, Lord Jesus. I tell you what we going to do for you, Lord Jesus. I tell you what, we can go down to the bank. Why don't we get a loan? Lord, I know some I know some money changes. Their loan is with great interest, Lord. We can get some interest on it. We and you know they we pay them back in installments, Lord Jesus. I know you need the money. We you ain't got it on you. You ain't got it on you, Jesus. Just say you ain't got it now. 
Stop this playing. It's kind of embarrassing right now. You 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 kind of messing up our shine, Lord Jesus. You riding on a donkey and stuff, Lord. Why don't you get yourself one of them them big stallion? You know, Budweiser got better better looking horses, Lord. You riding kind of dirty around here. You know, you making it look pretty. You making it look pretty bad around here, now. Nah? Talking all this mess, talking about your kingdom ain't of this world and stuff. Now you you talking a little crazy. Now you, I'm trying to get them, trying to lust. I'm trying to get these these riches and get people to serve us. Now we gonna be, we trying to be a people above all people to dwell upon the face of the earth. Now love your brother as you love yourself. They ain't my brother. Them dogs, Lord Jesus. Them them beasts. I don't consider the Palestinian my brother, Lord Jesus. Now come on, now who's my brother? Who's my sister? Who's my mother? It's those that do the will of my father. What are you talking about? What's on the will of your father? This is the will of him that sent me, that you believe on the one that he sent. You must be born again. My kingdom is not of this world. There you go talking crazy again. You keep talking like this. They're going to come take away our place in our nation. They're going to take away our place. We trying to sit in the seat of Moses and judge unrighteous judgment, Lord Jesus. We ain't trying to use no law as a schoolmaster. Look, we use this law. We lobby. We get this right. We lobby the Congress. We get this damn thing right now. We had them boys sending money all over. They, they be sending money from all over the world to pay us. Now, come on now. We may have to kill. We got. You know what? We got. We got. We got to get you out of the way. We got to kill. We. We. They said, we gonna be self hating today, ain't we? <laughs> we gonna kill. We. You, see, oh, you riding on the donkey. Don't. Don't nobody want no poor king. Let's kill this king. Let's kill. Let's kill him. We. You know what we gonna do? We don't want to get our hands dirty. That's a, we don't want to get our hands dirty killing. I tell you what, you know who we're going to use? We're going to work with the government, get the government to do our dirty work for us. What, Jesus? You, what, what, you know what? What do what, what you say, Jesus? I'm of my father, the devil. And the works of my father, I will do. The devil, my father was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth. When he speak of the lie, he speak of his own. You talking about me? For he is a liar and the father of it. And you said all men are liars? <laughs> Boy, we got to kill. I ain't, I ain't like I ain't like other men now. I ain't like I ain't like other men. Let, let go, let go ahead and kill him. Go, go ahead. Get, 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 arrange something to get this dude out of the way. This, this man, this man done gone crazy. God, he gonna mess up our whole system. Now we get we extorting people for money. We got them paying, bringing, paying temple tax and all kinds of stuff. You know, we get them to send all that money over there up to Jerusalem. This 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 fool gonna get gonna mess around and mess up our whole thing. We got these people where we want them to be now. We making merchandise out of these people. This, this man coming, he, he gonna try to he gonna he gonna mess up our whole system. We gonna have to get this on track, y'all. We gonna get go ahead and work with the Romans. Get the Romans. Get get talk. Go and talk to him. Get some Romans. You got some pull with the government. Well, let's go on and get it. Tell tell the government. You know he, he work with us. We'll keep the people in check. We keep the people in check. Tell them, don't tell them no. We want, we want, we want to negotiate now. We don't want to pay taxes on this dirty money now. No taxes. No, no taxes. All right, we collect. We help them get everybody in check. Tell the government no, no taxes now. Okay now. All right, we got it. We got it. Okay, put a hit on them. Let's get Jesus. Let's get Jesus. Let's kill him. Kill him. Get him. Jesus said, "You know what." These people, they think they think they kill. They think they killing the son of God, but it's, it's in their heart. If they could, they would. If they could, if they could, they would. They could, they would they would try to kill eternal life. You can't kill the word of God. The words that I speak to their spirit in their life. How are you going to kill eternal life? Oh, but God caught them in their own craftiness, y'all. God caught them in their own craftiness. Isn't that something? They got caught in their own craftiness. And Jesus said something. He said, you know what? Let me tell y'all something. Y'all sitting in the seat of Moses, using the law unlawfully. He said, look, if I be lifted up, guess what? I will draw all men. I will draw all men unto me. Y'all going to be drawn to death like a moth to a flame. If I be lifted up, if I be lifted up, I will draw. Look, I'm, if y'all... <laughs> Boy, I'm gonna tell y'all something. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna have a y'all gonna y'all gonna y'all gonna crown me king. Y'all gonna put a crown of thorns on me. Oh, y'all gonna pierce me, right? But you don't understand. You 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 just you think you mocking you you think you mocking God. You think you mocking God. 
Oh, y'all going to lift and exalt death. Y'all going to place on my head a crown of thorns. Y'all don't understand that crown of thorns represents all y'all children. That's what it represents. It represents all y'all children. Y'all think y'all got fruit. All y'all fruit wither and fall away. So when you think about it, what is the, what is the end of all these things? What does it matter if a man gained the whole world? Y'all can't keep it. Y'all didn't bring it in. Y'all can't take it out. You need to go to the Valley of the Kings over there in Egypt in the desert. And you can see what I'm talking about. You can't take it with you. That's why the heathen rage. That's why you war. You know you got but for the, but a short season. That's why you're doing what you're doing, boy. So y'all gonna live. Y'all y'all gonna y'all gonna exalt death, huh? Y'all say we gonna exalt death. Y'all say y'all say lift him up. Let's exalt him. Put that crown of thorn. He could be embarrassing us riding around some donkey. Broke down donkey. You ain't gonna be. You, he they say you ain't with us. You Jesus if you ain't with us and you ain't with the thieves in the temple. Then you you against us. Jesus said, well, all that came before me were thieves and robbers. You need to get thee behind me, Satan. You need to follow in the regeneration, not by works of righteousness, which you have done. But according to God's mercy, he'll save you by the washing, regeneration, newing of the Holy Ghost. Now, you know, I told Nicodemus, he came to me by night. I told him, I said, look here, Nicodemus, you must be born again. Marvel not that I say unto thee, you must be born again. I told him that was born of flesh is flesh. That was born of spirit is spirit. I said the children of the flesh are not the children of God. And that you got to be born of the incredible seed, the word of God that liveth in the body forever. I told you before you believe not because you're not my sheep. No child of the flesh are my people. My people are not born of this world. My people are not born of flesh and blood. My people aren't mortal. My people have eternal life and immortality. My people are born from Jerusalem above as free as mother of us all. They saw a the better country in heavenly. Y'all love the world and the things in the world. That's why y'all going to fight. That's why y'all going to murder. That's why y'all going to kill. That's why y'all going to take on a fake identity. Y'all going to be like, we Jews. And y'all going to lie to your brother. Y'all going to lie to your brother. going to lie to your fellow man. Because why y'all lying to them? Y'all even going to lie to y'all children. And then your children going to perish all because your hearts burn. Y'all sacrificing y'all children on the bail. Y'all children going to burn because of the lust of y'all heart, because y'all desire and love the world so much. Your hearts, are, your hearts just burn. You know what it is? It's, it's that, it's that, it's that heart. It's that lust of the heart, that fire and desire. Y'all like Rick James. Y'all got fire and desire for the world. For that great whore and harlot loving the world. And that's why y'all gonna kill one another. What? Right? That's why y'all gonna kill one another. It's that fire within. That's why you die. That's why you're consumed, you devils. I ain't talking about no literal fire. I told you our weapons aren't carnal. So when they fake it in the Holocaust and claim that it's, you know, why did they put them in the ovens? No, no, no. They did that because these fools, they're not my people. The Germans, they're not my people. And the people that they're murdering, their fellow brethren, those aren't my people either. They're just killing them because they're making merchandise. They say, well, we kill these people and make a sacrifice just like we sacrificed the man Jesus. Then we can get that out of the way and that way we can get more money, more money, more land, more resources, more things to lust upon ourselves. You didn't even you did it because, see, the people who are behind it, they want to stay behind it, behind the scenes. All darkness shall be hid in his secret places. I see the heart, boy. I see the heart. A fire not blown shall consume him. I can see the lust in your heart, boy. You, you lust in your heart. I told you, you wore the lust upon yourself, boy. It shall go ill. They in the flesh can't please God. With him that is left in his tabernacle. Deny yourself. I told you. Not one stone within thee will be left upon. I told you in Adam all die. 
I told you they in the flesh can't please God. I told you you need to be born again. I told you you need to be of a incorruptible seed in a new temple made without hands. I told you God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and true. I don't went on. I don't went on y'all. Let me go. Um, telegrams at that time would have been grand. Whole world would probably end up believing God that way. And I'm just wondering uh, what happened there. Yeah, why didn't God give people a sign? Why didn't God? Why didn't God give him a sign? And when the Pharisees, and when he, when Jesus was demanded of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of God should come, he told him, he said, the kingdom of God is at hand. He said, you must be born again and flesh and blood cannot enter it. This is what he told Nicodemus. He said they had to be converted. They said, we don't need to be converted. We're the apple of God's eye already. We don't need to be born again. That's called replacement theology. We're the people of God in the flesh. That's what they said. They say, he said, God said, no flesh or glory in my presence. Children of the flesh are not children of God. They in the flesh can't please God. Flesh and blood cannot inherit nor enter the kingdom of God. And he said, my kingdom is not of this world. He said, love not the world, nor the things in the world. Store not for yourselves treasure on earth where thieves break in and mock to corrupt. He says, if any man love the world, the love of the father is not in him. He says, friendship with the world is enmity against God. And he says, you must be born again. And people sitting here like, uh, could you explain to us what was behind the Holocaust? You know, it's hard to believe that men would be so desperately wicked to murder people under the guise of fulfilling Bible prophecy and so that they can bring the sympathies off, take, take a distract from all of the murder and lies and and manipulation and misuse and abuse and twisting of words god it's hard to believe that they're still doing that i just can't believe i mean i i i we accept that they did it when they colonized africa we accept that they did it when they colonized the south asia we accept that they did it when they colonized quote unquote north and south america we accept that they did it throughout all the world but for some reason now, now we're baffled. Now we demand answers. Now we say something's not right. We want justice. You know, now you can kill as many Negroes as you want. Now we, but now, now, now you've gone to, now you've gone to, you've gone to cotton picking far now. God, you've just gone to cotton picking far now. Now there's something unique. <laughs> There's something unique now. These are God's chosen people. Apple of his eye. The ch these are supposed to be the children of God. Why wouldn't? What kind of father? This is what, what, what kind of dad? My goodness. I mean, one time I was playing in the street and the car was coming. I wouldn't go chase after the ball. My dad came and snatched me out of the way. You being evil knew how to do good things for your children. How much more your heavenly father? Got all the power, sees all things. Pharisees demanded, Pharisees demanded of Jesus, says, when the kingdom of God should come, he asked and said, the kingdom come not with observation. What do you mean the kingdom come not with observation? What you talking about? This I say, brethren. Who's my brother? Who's my sister? Who's my mother? Flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Neither does corruption inherit in corruption. What do you mean? Neither does corruption inherit in corruption. Well. Y'all got children, right? Guess what? Y'all all corrupt. He that's going to his flesh. Well, now, Lord, now, uh, you, now, I'm, I, you know, I, I ain't going to, I know, I know you supposed to be God, no. But you made a huge mistake in Galatians now. You said he that sow into his flesh. Is that count when I'm raping slave women? 
that's what you're talking about. You talking about when I you talking about when you talking about I should mix with the with the with the with the natives with the with the people. The mother, you know, when you say he just so into his flesh, you ain't talking about when I had sick with my wife. Shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that so into the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. Well, let me see. When you had sick with your wife, do your child live forever? Now, this is a hard question, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, I went to cemetery school and I took my classes and I gave them all my, I gave them so much money. And I learned what they told me to learn. Now, I sat at this, I sat at the feet of my teachers and they just gave me so much bread. And I think they said something about it ain't, they ain't no 11. They had 11 free guarantee. And they taught me that God had a chosen race. Lord Jesus. Could you explain it? That's an excellent question. None of us have the answer as to why God didn't intervene there. Mm. Just like I don't have the answer as to why God didn't intervene here on April 30th. Mm. But I know why I don't know why. I'm I know why you don't know why either. Because you're a devil. Because you don't want to answer. You don't want to ruin things. Look at this. Let's see. Let's go ahead and do it, y'all. You know, there's an instance where people were trying to do something. Listen, listen, listen here, y'all. Listen here. Listen here. He talking about, said, they were present at that season, some that told them of the Galatians, whose blood, remember, flesh and blood cannot inherit. So that's the first clue. Uh, one word begins with B, ends with D, whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. Now, here goes another clue. God is a God of the living and not the dead. The children of the flesh are not the children of God. My kingdom is not of this world. So how in the world do you think you have a house made with hands in this world and say, well, this is the house of God. Every so some of y'all every Sunday, Saturday, whatever, Wednesday night, so-called service, y'all say, well, I'm going over there to serve the Lord. And God's like, I'm not, I don't dwell in temples made with hands, not in my worship with men's hands. They in the flesh can't please God. God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. Well, ye are lively stones are built up a what? Spiritual house, a holy priesthood to offer a what? Spiritual. That's called living. That's called eternal life. Living sacrifices. God said, that's what I accept. I ain't accepting. I'm not accepting anything at y'all hands. I ain't accepting it at your hands. But your pastor like, wait a minute now. Wait just a minute now. If Jesus walked in that, ser in that service, they kick Jesus out. They be like, you got to get out of here, Jesus. You messing some stuff up now. We got, we in the back counting your money. We gonna send in money to you now. How much we got to pay for you to not come back, Lord Jesus? How much we got to pay for you to not come back? We need to stop this truth. Uh, how about we give them? How many, how many pieces of silver you got on you? Y'all got any silver on y'all? Plate the plate. These dude pastors be like, how much money? We making so much money out these 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 fools and these poor this poor this poor pit. We are we, we are, this is a poor pit, a pit of serpents. You know the the, the snake pit. They they trying to get y'all clues. God until synagogue of Satan. <laughs> God and gave you so many clues. Y'all like well okay. Live and stones built up a spiritual house. Listen, he talking about listen, whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. Right. And Jesus answered and said unto them, suppose ye that these Galatians were sinners above all the Galatians because they suffered such things. He's like, you understand that the children of the flesh are not the children of God and that. My sheep never perish and my kingdom is not of this world and I don't dwell in temples made with hands. I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, ye shall likewise perish my sheep never perish so you say repent of what what they got to repent of i don't understand what
in meekness instructing those that oppose, wait a minute, themselves. No, nah, no, nah, Lord Jesus. <laughs> now nah, I'm going to have to kick you out. Uh, now we got two, three witnesses against you. Now I tried to tell you, I tried to correct you, Lord Jesus, but I see you. I'm going to have to bring the two deacons to try to do it. We went to you privately. Now, Lord, we got to bring two deacons up now. Okay. Uh, get a couple of more deacons and get a couple of more. Bring the bishop over here. And what you doing over there, brother? You know, we got to kick. You got to kick Jesus out this hell temple. Uh, I don't dwell in temples made with hands and easy words. Okay, good. Because you definitely ain't going to be in this one. You kick, kick him out. Now, don't you come back. Don't step foot on this 501c3. But wait a minute. You're getting tax deduction. How are you going to kick me out? You're getting, you're getting taxes. <laughs> Instructing those that oppose, wait a minute, themselves. What, how can you oppose yourself? You know a house divided, a temple, a body divided cannot stand? How do you mean you oppose yourself? Well, don't your conscience bear witness against you? Don't your conscience bear witness against you? You think you righteous, don't you? You say, I'm keeping the law. And you're like, I did it again. I shouldn't have done that, what I did. I done did it again, Lord. Forgive me again, the 35th time. You, th you think you, you say, I'm going to get it right, Lord Jesus. I'm going to keep the law. I'm going to keep the law right this time. Just let, just let me give me the time. Don't, now, don't go stoning me. Stone her, though. Look, she got caught in the Stone that. Stone her now. Get, look at them Palestinians. Stone them Palestinians, Lord Jesus. Stone them. In meekness instructing those that oppose themselves for God, prayer eventually give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth. Lord, what what's the truth, though? Uh, didn't you see where lively stones built up a spiritual house? Right to offer up spiritual sacrifices, accept on God. What, but Lord, what is the truth? Though we, I just want God is a spirit, and they that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and truth. But who worships Him in spirit and truth? Who's the true worshippers? Uh, ye worship, ye know not what we know. What we worship, what, what for salvation is of the Jews. Wait a minute now, could you please explain to me the Holocaust? Because somebody keeps saying they're not the real Jews. Some they just arguing in the flesh. The black man say he the real Jew, and then the Aska Nazis say that they the real Jews, and they said they got some Jews down there in India. They said they got some Jews in over in Russia, and they got some other Jews. They say, they say some lost Jews over yonder. They say all these. They said they got they got their DNA tests on twenty three and me, and they said they know that they Jews, and and they just keep on dying, and they keep on perishing, and they claiming they keeping the law, and they children of the flesh, and they keep saying that they Jews. Really. Well, the hour cometh, listen, and now is the kingdom of God come not with observation. When the true worshiper shall worship the father in spirit and in truth. So who's the Jew if you got to worship in spirit and in truth? For the father seeketh such to worship him. God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. Uh, Lord, you know, I went to cemetery school, Lord Jesus, and... See, let me let me help you, Lord. Let me help you, God, with the word now. Let me help you, Lord, because I got look look on the wall. See, look behind me now. Did you see that right there? That's 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 Yale Divinity School. That's right, Lord. That's Yale Divinity. I know Yale Divinity. Look look here. That, that Harvard. Yep. That, that's why I got my P. A. That's why I got. Yep. Harvard. So you got we got Harvard and Yale, Lord. Harvard and Yale. Come on now. Come on. You ain't never went to Yale, now, did you? I didn't think you did. I didn't think you did. So why don't you listen to me? Listen to the man of God. Tell you what you got to do now, Lord Jesus. Now, now let me tell you about hypostatic union. Hypostasis. You ever heard of it? Okay, let me let me school you now. Let me school you, Lord. Now, um, you, uh, the God is fully God and fully man. Three distinct persons, right? But the second person of the Trinity uh, is one person, two natures, fully God, fully man. So we got to include the flesh of Mary. Now, we got to. Now, D, don't think we polytheists and got some pagan God and made some idol. This ain't an idol. This is all so-called true. Now, now listen to me, Lord Jesus. Now, now uh, the three distinct persons, three distinct persons, yet one God now, co-equal, co-eternal. Uh, now, uh, you got any questions? Well, co-equal, co-eternal. The, didn't the man Jesus die? But you're including, you said one person, two natures. But the nature, the, the, the flesh, didn't, didn't the flesh die? 
And didn't it say the spirit hath not flesh and bones as you see me have? And didn't it say things which are not seen are eternal? And so how could eternal life die? What? How would you be have confidence in eternal life if eternal life can die? So you're telling me at one moment, death conquered eternal life? Uh, you asking too many uh, questions, you know, uh, you know, you, you, you say you, you say you light, but I think you darkness. Yeah. You, you say you the way, but I, I don't think you is the way I think, I think, I think you ain't, you know, you, 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 of you, you speaking, you must be, you a devil. You, you, you's a devil. You know, that's, that's why I went and got my, my school of education. You's a devil. Okay. So you don't, you reject that God is a spirit. So you also going to reject this then. You going to reject you going to reject We are the circumcision which worship God in the spirit, the circumcision made without hands and rejoice if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature, you know, rejoice in Christ and have no confidence in the flesh. Now you said new creature. Now see this again I hate to correct you see uh, step on up here, the, 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 the head pastor, the, the, the head, let the head shepherd, come on over here, head pastor, he, we got, we got a, we got a belligerent one over here now, he, he real obstinate, now, um, how can I help you, brother, well, this man say he Jesus, right, he talking about something, he the way, the truth, the life, now, he, 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 he don't seem to understand, we got to enlighten him, um, he talking about some, uh, people got to be in, in Jesus, and he talking about something they be a new creature. Now that don't work with our theology because uh, to be a new creature uh, mean there's something wrong with the old creature. Like that, that's like saying you got to get rid of the old and you got to replace it with something new. And he talking about some uh, corrupt. He talking about all the works that we did. Look at it. Look at all the stuff we done built, Pastor. He talking about we went to Yale and Harvard. And Pastor, tell me about your credential. Tell me about how, how you went to school, how you was out in the field. You was in Africa, right? Teaching in Africa. And you were building, you were building water, you were building well waters, right? And you was helping giving to the poor, right? Right? Y'all was handing out bread and water to them, right? Remember that? Yeah, we raised a lot of money. That's that's something. That's right. That was the most money we ever raised. That was a that was a good drive. That was, that was right after the building fund. Yep. Now we added to the uh, extension to add on to the church right now. Yeah, Lord, that we did a lot. Uh-huh. Show sure enough. Show sure enough. Show sure enough. So so now he trying to tell us all the works that we did. He talking about some. This is for not. Talking about some. All all the works of our flesh is it filled the rag. Talking about some. Somebody got to be born again. Like like something wrong with my fur bird. You know what he talking about? He talking about, he talking about my mama. And my mama. My mama. Dad been mad for forty forty five forty, forty eight year. Forty eight year. My mama ain't never stepped out. Ain't never stepped out on my dad. She good good godly woman. That right. She sitting up. She she got that special. She she be sitting on stage with the pastor. Yo. Y'all, we got her sitting up there right up there on, the, on the stage, and she parked right out front, right? No, she parked out front. She got her own parking spot. Yeah, right. And she, and we tell her she can sit here, and we tell them other people, they, they, you know, sit on in the back somewhere. Sit on in the back somewhere now. Y'all ain't, ain't part of the, the, main, the main group here. Y'all need to sit on down somewhere. They can't come sit on stage with you, Pastor. Only, only special people get to sit in that seat. Right, that's right. Some people, we had to kick men out of church last time. People come around here. Yeah, Lord Jesus. And so, um, excuse me, what's your name again? Oh, okay. Well, anyway, uh, you talking about being a new creature you, and, and all this spiritual stuff. Now we can't, we can't, I can't, we can't pay no bills with no spirit money. <laughs> you know, praise the Lord. We can, the, 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 we can't keep the electricity on with no spirit money. They want real money now. Uh, you, yeah, yeah, get, yeah, get, unless you got some Bitcoin, maybe, maybe you, you got some Bitcoin, you got some cryptocurrency. You, we, we take that too. I heard that going up. I heard that going up now. Ain't, ain't, that's what they say. They say it going up. They say it got limited supply. They say it's scarce. Oh yeah, they said scary. They said it's gonna go up now. We gonna we gonna be taking Bitcoin soon. Yeah, yeah, Lord Jesus, we gonna be we gonna take paper to put the Bitcoin put the Bitcoin in the treasury. Uh, Lord, we're gonna be a delay. We are gonna have to hodl that. We we would send it to you, but we are gonna have to hodl that a little bit. We are gonna have to little wait wait for that to go. Appreciate you, you understand, right? You understand. But yeah, Lord, that that um, I don't even call you that because I don't know you. You seem like you're a false prophet. But you know, um. <clears throat> That you know that 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 new creature stuff that don't sit well with me. Something about that, something that in my gut don't like that. Now that that something about it, what you said now that 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 don't that that kind of that hurts me a little bit. I I can't hear that. I ain't even trying to hear that. 
I ain't trying to hear all that all that stuff. You talking about everybody? I got a good wife. Pastor got a good wife. We been married. You know, we qualified. Got a good education. You, you want to read? You want to? I don't know who let you in here. You you should have read. You should have read our mission statement. And we got we got a a a a a a basic doctrine, right? Essential doctrine document. You need to read that before you even step up in here. And you don't agree with it, you don't need to come. You can go on across church on the street. That them church, they they let anything go over there. Go on across the street now. So these guys, you would they wouldn't believe this. Philippians 3:3, 3, 3, they said, For we are the circumcision which worship God in the spirit and rejoice in Christ. Remember, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away, behold, all things become new. You're not in the flesh, but in the spirit. The gospel is preached to them that are dead, that they may be judged according to men in the flesh that can't please God, because God takes no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but all flesh will perish and men shall turn again to us. But live according to God, I give unto them eternal life in the spirit. And God's called the what? Father of spirits. All the children of the flesh are subject to death. So that's why he says, My kingdom is not of this world. And so when you see people perishing, just because they slap the label, just because they got a marketing department, just because the marketing department happens to be the government, just because you guys say, well, our campaign is really big and it's called Zionism, just because they're fooled you and tricked you and, and got you tricked off and you out there working and running the streets trying to pay for them to, to, to lay back in the cut, just because they pimping you out like a two-bit whore, don't think that they fooled God. They ain't fooled God and they ain't fooled the sheep. God's not tricked. God's not fooled. His sheep, his elect are not fooled. We not fooled. Just because you fooled doesn't mean we're fooled. Right? How much time I got? Okay. I'm going to have to let this go. I'm going to have to leave soon. Um, the man asked the question. He said, why didn't God use his power in the Holocaust? Why didn't he do it? Let me show y'all something. Let's see, let's see if I can show y'all something. I'm going to show y'all something. Let me show y'all Woodrow Wilson real quick, y'all. Let me show y'all a little something. Let's see. It's, uh, it's theological interest, for sure. And notice when he uh, writes the, uh, the charter for the League of Nations, he calls it the Covenant. The League of Nations is called the Covenant. That's Woodrow Wilson now. So being so devout, he, he prays by his bedside every night. Being so devout, I think he's extremely susceptible to the idea of Zionism. So Woodrow Wilson was an advocate of Zionism, and he, to some kind of influence, somebody convinced him. They said, look, you need to help with the Federal Reserve and the League of Nations. Woodrow Wilson. Friend Louis Brandeis, who will be... Now, Louis Brandeis, who would that be? First um, Jewish person appointed to the Supreme Court by Wilson. And I'll say Brandeis and Wilson were peas in a pod. They was peas in a pod. Louis Brandeis and Woodrow Wilson was good friends. You're my friend. You're my buddy. It's called Christian Zionism. Both detested big business and were, were rabid reformers. Um, Brandeis comes to Wilson and says, you've got to back this British Balfour Declaration. You've got, you got to back this British Balfour Declaration. Now, 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 let's let's talk about it now. Before my parents were born. And then by 1910, there were already 20,000 Zionists in the U.S. They included lawyers, professors, and businessmen. It was already in 1910 a movement to which congressmen listened. Still working with the government. These fake line signs and wonders. Remember? They was working with Pilate, working with Pilate, saying, look, we got to get somebody killed. We got to go to war against this Jesus, right? We, can you kill the truth, Pilate? We need you to kill the truth now because the word get out, they're going to sign out that we are of our father, the devil. Then in 1912, we had a very significant development. A prominent lawyer named Louis Brandeis became a Zionist. Brandeis not only just be, didn't just become a Zionist, within about two years, he then became the head of world Zionism. Okay, so you just heard how Woodrow Wilson was a, a good old Christian, right? He appointed uh, Louis Brandeis, the so quote unquote supposed first Jew. He was a Supreme Court justice, but he was an advisor to the president. And he said, you got to support Zionism and get into the get into the war. 
This is, yeah, this is Woodrow Wilson now. Now, Woodrow Wilson, let's talk about what he said. They was peas in a pod now. And this is now again, this is but this is before World War Two. But then he said, you got to help. You got to help Zionism to do what? In the early part of the 20th century. Why was that? Another fan of the KKK was none other than President Woodrow Wilson. Tell hmm. me about the screening of the film called The Birth of a Nation by D.W. Now, there's a movie called The Birth of a Nation in the world. Now, everybody pretending to be stupid. They like, I don't know what the birth, I don't know what the Holocaust was about. And I don't know what the screening of the movie in the White House, Birth of a Nation, was about. You know, they just put movies in the White House now. I mean, they would have played, they had a choice between Birth of a Nation and the president. He just sit around and go and look at movies. And why was the significance of Birth of a Nation, which happened before World War II? What was it all about? It was unfortunate for our country that the first movie ever screened in the White House was a racist movie by a racist Democratic president. Now he and Woodson, Louis Brandeis and Woodson was peas in the pot. I'm sure Louis Brandeis said, no, 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 come on. We liberals, we don't want you to be any part of any racism, right? Don't do it. The film led to the rebirth of the Klan in America. The film quoted Wilson. It denounced the Reconstruction era when blacks briefly held office. It depicted blacks played by whites in blackface as ugly, vulgar, and uncivilized predators who liked nothing better than raping white women. Okay, so that birthed of a nation right there, y'all. Now that's Woodrow Wilson. He was a good man. Now we don't know what we don't know why the Holocaust happened. Though. We have no idea what was behind it. There, there's no, there's no, 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 no. This is Stephen Miller. Stephen Miller. This Stephen Miller was an, another advisor to the president. And Stephen Miller fancies himself to be guess what chosen. Oh, uh, let's give you some details about what he wrote in these emails. Miller sent a story from the white nationalist website VDARE to McHuff on October 23rd, 2015, the email show. White nationalist Peter Brimlow uh, founded VDARE in 1999. The website traffics in the white genocide or great replacement myth, which suggests that non-white people are systematically and deliberately wiping white people off the planet. By the way, that is part of the reason why in Charlottesville they chanted the Jews will not replace us. Y'all don't see through it, do y'all? Y'all still stuck on stupid, ain't you? You're like, well, that seemed kind of weird because why would a so-called Stephen Miller be a racist if he's a Jew and the Jews is the most hated? Why would, why would Stephen Miller be promoting white supremacy? It is also weird how... How would Louis Brandeis, who was the first Jew, I mean, they're so racist, but yet they're promoting these so-called Jews to all these high places. How would Louis Brandeis be peas in a pod with Woodrow Wilson, which hated Reconstruction and the advancement of so-called black people? And then they talk about this birth of a nation. I wonder what that was all about. I wonder if they, you don't think that they would try to hide and repackage and relabel and rename something just so they can continue, can continue colonization under the guise of charity. You don't think they would do nothing like that now, though, would you? You don't think they would do nothing like that. That'd be too wicked. Well, let, let's look at some more stuff, y'all. I'll, I'll just one minute. Let's see. Let's see what else we can find here. Let's see what else we can find here. So we got that. We got, we got that. Let's see here. They don't know why the Holocaust happened. Well, let's look at this, huh? Example, the Europeans treated us. And number two, they realized that Jewish suffering brought them closer to God. In now they say, you know, how the Europeans treated us. Now, now they're saying, you know, you can't say it's white supremacy if Jews is white. We can kind of subset and we can move. This is what you call sub branding. This is like making an extended, like a brand extension. We can't do this blatantly as just white supremacy. You know, because we already did it under the guise of so-called Christians. But we can work together on this now. This is a tag team match, boy. 3 verse 9 through 12, God is speaking. So the speaker changes three times. And also a different speaker in 52, 13 through 15. Um, Same and so concept, different speakers. And uh, the last verse, uh, verse 12, it says that he 
um, bore the sins of many. Uh, do you think this is Israel? He said he bore the sins of many. He said, do you think this is Israel? Listen to what he's going to say. For sure. It says that he bore the sins of many. World, that's correct. But what the yeah. Jewish people suffered, we bore the bad behavior of the mm. nations of the world. That's correct. But what does so he's saying they're saying the suffering for the whole world. You want to talk about flipping the script? Well, uh, the one who bore the sins of the whole world was us. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's amazing. See, but it's like, well. You mean you bring forth death in your own kingdom? Yes, you do bring forth death. And you do, quote unquote, bear sin in your body. And you say, well, if they bear sin in their body, because they say, well, we, we relate it to Jesus, right? Our tabernacle is, is related to Jesus, right? They say, well, they say he can't reject us. And that's why they ask him about the Holocaust. They're like, well, what? If, if, if I don't understand, why wouldn't God... Here's why. Because God is a spirit, right? God is not flesh. All darkness shall be hid in his secret place. He's talking about the wickedness of their heart. And he says, a fire not blown, why do you war, shall consume him. It shall go ill with him that is left in his tabernacle. Well, what did, what did God say? God said, I'm a spirit. And he says, knowing that surely I must put off this my tabernacle, even as our Lord Jesus Christ had showed me. He said, he put off the old man. And they say, well, no, that's replacement theology. He says, I never was one of you. I just came in the likeness of sinful flesh, fool. They got caught in their own craftiness. Now they're trying to do this thing like, how can we flip the script? Now, the question is, where did they get all this from, y'all? Where did they get all this? I got something, man. I thought I had something else that I wanted to play for y'all. Maybe I can't play it for y'all. Maybe I can't play it, y'all. <sighs> Sorry, my bad. I can't play it for you. Any, well, let me see. Let's see if I can find it real quick. Here you go. Why don't you own commercial real estate? Yes, you. Why don't you own commercial property? After all, just one. Following the surrender of German forces in 1945, Allied soldiers uncovered the horrific reality of Nazi. How Britain and America inspired Nazi eugenics. Remember this lady, Alison Ware, is talking about how America, how people came over and there's a secret Zionist organizations that came in to America. These secret Zionist organizations that came into America, guys, they came in. Let's go. Let's go back to the timeline. I want to make sure you guys understand. Come on now. Early and how act born here. Okay. My parents were born. This Zionist organization in the 1880s. Zionist organizations be began around the U.S. in the 1880s. In the 1880s, Zionist organizations came. This is leading up to quote what. Before 1914, around that time, before World War I even happened. So here they're coming in the quote unquote 1880s, coming in saying, we're going to have to infiltrate, quote unquote, America under the guise of we're trying to escape persecution. And so what they do is they do this thing where they do the Zionists persecute people and then they sneak in their quote unquote agents, these liars who claim, oh, well, the reason why we had to come into the country, but then you got Stephen Miller, who's a white nationalist, telling them we have to end immigration. So how does that work? How's, how is Stephen Miller, who claims to be chosen, why is he racist, and why is Woodrow Wilson a racist, in bed with Louis Brandeis? Why are they in bed together, y'all? And then, then it said, look, 18, 1800 Zionist organization began in the U.S. Ambassadors to Turkey becomes first annual conference. It said how Louis Brandeis ran it all through Wilson. Wilson, the little puppet. Right? 1880s. Now, let me show y'all something. 1880s. Uh, let's see if I can find this. I want you to take track of this. Christopher Columbus also considered himself to be a so-called chosen people. Y'all can look this up. I've done videos on it. Christopher Columbus, right? Christopher Columbus was a racist. Then they exposed that 
uh, Christopher Columbus and these they talk about the so-called Jews, fake Jews in America, in, in Jamaica, and they talk about how there was slavery and how they held slaves in America. And in the early in the early colonies in the United States, they had they were having slaves like everybody else. Yet they're the most hated. They have slaves like everybody in Jamaica. They had slaves in the America. They had slaves. There's no question about this. Right. And you can't you, you can try to question it. But uh, the video that I have done has two people who claim to be Jews who are talking about this and admitting this, right? It's a professor. Now, looking at the wars, 1914, right? World War II. They're talking about the Zionist organizations came to America in the what? In the 1800s, in the 1880s. So they come into America in the 1880s leading up to the war. Louis Brandeis is appointed, what? By Woodrow Wilson as an advisor and part of the Supreme Court Justice and was head of the World Zionist Organization, right? Then going up to the war, see, Wilson said, I won't, I will keep you out of the war. But Louis Brandeis said, no, you got to sign with the, with the British, the Balfour Declaration. So they get into the war. Also in the 1800s, what's happening? Notice they're conquering, 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 right? After Columbus continue to conquer, enslave, do all this kind of stuff to all these people. What else happened in the 1800s? Well, Berlin Conference, 1885. 1885, they got the Berlin Conference. In the Berlin Conference, what are they doing? The Berlin Conference, they're dividing up Africa. They've already enslaved. This is at the time, think about it. This is Wilson, Woodrow Wilson, under Louis Brandeis, says he hated Reconstruction, right? He hates Reconstruction, right? So if he hates Reconstruction and Woodrow Wilson showing this movie in the White House, who produced that movie in the White House, Birth of a Nation, by the way? Look into that. So you have Louis Brandeis, Woodrow Wilson. I'm sure Louis Brandeis is probably there. He knows about the movie, Birth of a Nation. What's Birth of a Nation about? Pray tell. Uh, why would why would the Birth of a Nation be shown in the so-called White House? And then at the same time leading up to these wars, what's missing from the list of wars? The Berlin Conference. The Berlin Conference is talking about, look, this is in the 1884, blah, 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 German concluded 1885, the Signature General Act, European colonization, trade in Africa, new, new imperialism, right? New, new world, new imperialism, right? The scramble for Africa. It's talking about the conference and how all these people got together and, quote, unquote, took over. It's called the Berlin Conference. So Germany was part of it. So what you have is you have a collusion of world leaders under the guise of under white under the guy under white supremacy who decided the way that we can continue our colonization and oppression of people is by shifting and hiding and shedding our skin and pretending that we're now charitable and the only reason why we're doing this is because we're we're just trying to help prophecy come be fulfilled and if you believe that stupidity then you're a fool okay